Today, we're talking about AI agents and social prescribing. Please stay till the end because I'll be sharing gems. So please stay till the end to enjoy and take something from this. So what is the challenge we face in this world at the moment? According to the World Health Organization, 2DK, which is a preventable disease, affects about 2 billion people with permanent teeth. The project goals today is to understand social prescribing, how knowledge can help, and how to practice prevention. So what is social prescribing? It is a holistic approach where patients are referred for non-clinical support services in the community. So what it is all about is treating the person as a whole, treating the underlying problems. At times, people come and visit us for treatment, but they do have underlying issues that we are not aware of. And if you are not aware of those underlying issues and you are just focusing on the teeth, it means you are always going to have the same problem repeating itself. You need to get to the underlying issues that they are facing. So, for example, someone who is very anxious, some of some people may come in and tell you they've had a bad experience as a child and things like that. You need to listen and try to build their confidence and start using tell, show, do technique or desensitization. That is, you do simple things with them, bring them back in till they have gained their confidence. Or some of them may decide to see a therapist in the community or to join a social community group whereby people who have gone through those experiences have been able to overcome it. Maybe practicing mindfulness, simple breathing exercises, telling them to breathe in and breathe out just to release the tension. And also, normally when people are going through difficulties, the last thing they think about is their teeth and dentition. And that is why social prescribing is very important because we need to know the underlying issues. Another example is someone who is always having to decay. And this could be linked to poor diet because it is easy to go to a one pound shop, get some sweets rather than taking the time to go shopping and preparing food or eating healthy. And it could be the person is troubled, the person is going through difficulties in their lives. Another example is there could be a high failure rate. The patient keeps on failing the appointment and it could be that they are having financial difficulties. They may have lost their jobs. When people have lost their jobs, the last thing on their mind is their teeth because they are fighting for survival, looking for where to place their head. And all those things can sort of affect their teeth. They tend to neglect their dentition because they are fighting for survival. Another example is someone who has no permanent abode. They don't have, they've lost their home and they are on the streets and things like that because they are fighting for survival. The last thing on their mind is to get about their teeth because they are struggling and facing a lot in life. Another example could be socioeconomic factors like stress or social isolation. When it comes to stress, some people grind their teeth at night. What we can do is give them a night guard, but also we need to know the underlying problem. What are they going through? Because that has got an impact on their teeth. So if you, for example, they don't have friends, they are feeling lonely, or they don't have family, or they are bereaved, things like that can have effect. And also, it becomes important to have a link worker in the community, someone who will be able to come up with an action plan for them, which has got nothing to do with medicine or dentistry, but more to do with whatever they are going through. And this can sort of help with their dentition. So this is what social prescribing is all about. I hope you've enjoyed listening to me. So what is an AI agent? How can this help people with social prescribing? Well, I've already said it is a type of AI agent that can understand and respond to your inquiries without human intervention. When people are going through difficulties, something like an AI agent would be helpful to them because it will track their progress and track how they are feeling. They can write it down and on the app and track their own teeth and be in management of their teeth while they are going through their struggles. So they are ready to see a dentist. It's empowering them. The tips are, if they are going to be using the AI agent, they need to brush their teeth. Most people have mobile phones, even though people are going through difficulties. People have mobile phones, even in the villages, people have mobile phones. 
So it's just a matter of brushing your teeth, wipe it with a gauze, set your mobile phone to macro, use a ring light or flash, and take teeth off your chewing surfaces and crop the picture and send it to the AI agent to analyze it for you. You can send it to a dentist who is far away to advise you whilst you are going through your struggles and then when you are ready, you can go and see the dentist in person. The email of the AI agent is main 087650 d for delta number 2 at mystudio-hooks.com. So this is the email of the AI agent. So you send the picture to the AI agent and to analyze it and send you a personalized report. When you get the personalized report, you can start changing your habits. If you, for example, eat a lot of sweets, I'm not saying you should stop, but you can have it after food. So after food, you can have it in one go. If you decide to have any juices, use a straw so that the acid does not affect your teeth. So you can make certain basic changes till you are ready to see the dentist. So you feel empowered to change things about yourself. And the cause is evidence-based, whereby when you what you say to the agent is the report it gives to you. By looking at the report, it sort of guides you. So if you sort of do it maybe regularly, you can be able to see whether you're improving or you're not improving. My advice to you is to try and brush twice a day. Speed after brushing, let me switch to meal times and you can download the food scanner app. It tells you how much sugar in your food. So you are aware how much sugar you are taking in. So social prescribing, I've already told you what it is, but it is nice to have support in the community. So if you're going through difficulties, it's good to share with somebody and the person can point you in the right direction. At times, a knowledge is power. So the person may come up and said, oh, you can go here and get accommodation. You can go here and get a free this. And that sort of helps you. So do not keep yourself to yourself. Try and have one or two people that you can interact with and share ideas in a community. This video is to educate and empower you as always. This is a disclaimer. So it is not here to tell you what to do. We always advise you to seek professional help. We are always passionate about prevention is better than care. Share the knowledge and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Thank you for staying till the end. The call to action is email the AI agent for your private personalized report and see the description for email. Conclusion, early detection of tooth decay and social prescribing leads to sustainable oral health. AI is not here to replace the dentist, but it's to empower you as a person, to let us realize that even though you're having problems with your teeth, it's a whole person. You have a whole lot of other external factors that we need to address in the community. Thank you again. Thank you very much.